what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and today i actually ran into a super random instagram account and what i noticed while looking at it is that they actually have a car meet going on and it's not just no ordinary car meet it's more like a car show all supercars the people that are hosting it do like a rally all over the country and i know they do go to other countries as well but we are gonna be pulling up. It is like at five, it's still a little early in the day. Currently 11, it's already like 109 degrees, which is insane. We stopped here at Starbucks, as you can see, to get some breakfast. We haven't ate all day. The day is barely gonna start for us, but I'm super excited to go to this car meet. There's supposed to be Lambos, McLaren, any supercar you can think of, we should be able to find it there. So let's go get some breakfast and we'll be right back. All right, so we just finished up eating and you guys will never guess where we ended up. I just had to see this for myself. Lamborghini dealership. It's not the exact Lambo dealership, but they do have a few cars out here. And look at this, all orange Urus, a Huracan in purple. I feel like it's cars like this that you just have to see in person. Like you see them online everywhere, but when you see them in person, you're like, damn, someone's really out there buying a car like this right now. This thing is so sick. I know they do have more cars out there, but I did want to see this purple one too, bro. This thing is crazy. I wonder if it's wrapped. Although, honestly, I think I would take an R8 over a Lambo, only for the reason that it's a lot cheaper and a little more affordable. I mean, it's still a supercar. It is expensive. But look at this. This thing looks crazy in person. In Oregon, you hardly ever got to see a Lambo up close like this. I don't think these are for sale. It looks like they might be in the service department, but damn, that's crazy. Someone's really driving this car. That just motivates me, honestly. I know for a fact one day this is obtainable. Not right now. We would buy a house first because if you buy a supercar before a house, I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do. But I did want to see the supercar because we are going to that car show. It's still super early. It's like 12 and it starts at around 5 p.m. So we still have a lot of time to kill and I didn't want to see these cars before. Honestly, we have to get inside the car. It is way too hot to be standing out there. They were starting to ask questions. So honestly, we decided to just leave. But I did notice that there is some more Lambos on this side, which that's where the actual dealership is. Let me put my seatbelt on and we'll go over there. I wonder if they thought I was trying to buy a, a Lambo. Little do they know I can't afford that shit. <laughs> Imagine, it's Friday right now. Imagine being able to buy a Lambo on a random Friday. That's the goals right there. One day, look at that. They stand out so much. What are you guys taking, the Huracan? I honestly don't like that it's a soft top. I think it kind of kills it. So I would take the Urus. But any other day, I honestly would take the Huracan. Looks like they have a lot of Audis for sale too. Damn. They got hella Urus. What do you guys think about that green one? Bro, they have like 10 at least. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to see the SVJs or the Huracons. I think that's about it. Damn, I thought they'd have a lot more for being a Lambo dealer over here in Vegas. One thing that I kind of kind of forgot to mention, I kind of did it. It is Friday, so all the supercars are going to be out today. That only means one thing. We're going to go down to the strip and see if we can find any supercars. We're about, shoot, let's see. It says we're 20 minutes away. I need to get over to this lane. All right, there we go. So we're about 20 minutes away. We just had to hit the highway and then we should be there. We are gonna be meeting up with one of my new friends. You guys will see him on the vlog. He has a purple Supra. But so far, I have seen a few nice cars out. Not super cars, but I've seen the new Mustang. I've seen the new G80 M3. So there is a lot of cars starting to pop out today for Friday. You guys wanna know something crazy? I went all over Vegas. And you guys want to know how many supercars we saw? Zero. But once again, it is 2.30 p.m. So that really doesn't help. So right now, I'm not too sure what time the car show actually starts. So I'm going to slide through just to see if it started. Hopefully we get lucky and the cars are there and we can show up before everyone else goes. So we're going to check that out. Like I said, we went all over Vegas and we saw zero supercars. I mean, it's 100 and what, 112 degrees. 
2.30 p.m. So it is still pretty early. Just like last video, we got kind of unlucky. So let's go ahead and check out that car show. Hopefully we get lucky and we at least find a couple. I know it's a supercar only show, so I know there is going to be some. I just don't know what time it starts. And hopefully it starts earlier than we think because we have nothing else to do out here. I thought we were out of luck, but we actually just found a Ferrari and the Lambo together. Let me slow down. That's so hard. Both red. Damn, look at that. And then here's a Lambo coming up. Bro, that's so sick. Damn, man, they're looking at my car. I'm over here freaking out with theirs. That's sick. Oh, a third one too? I didn't even see that third green one. Imagine cruising with your boys. Oh, and a C8. I wonder if they're part of the car show. Bro, that's sick. I need to go meet up with them. Too bad our exit's coming up or else I would have hauled ass. I think I just found out where all the wealthy people hang out. Black C8, G-Wagon, another C8. What I'm starting to realize is C8s, there's quite a bit of them out here in Vegas. I almost considered buying one actually. I seen how much they're dropping in price and you can find them for as low as 60,000, which that's only 5,000 more than what I paid for my car. I have no idea where this car show is at though. Let's see if we can find some Lambos. That's when I'll know I found the spot. I don't even know where we're at if I'm being honest. I just kind of typed in the address to the meet. I don't see where the car meet would be at. Yeah, I don't think it's here unless we're early, but I doubt it. I don't think it's here. I think I'm gonna have to find another spot. Lucky for us, it's only 15 minutes away, so I'll see you guys there. If we find any more cool cars on the way there, I'll make sure to put it in the video. Let's hit the road once again. I feel like we've been driving this whole time. I know. We honestly had a little change of plans. It's about 4 p.m. We kind of got word that the show starts at 5. So I'm just cruising around the city. I still haven't seen any supercars, which I'm kind of bummed out about. You know what's kind of funny when you think about it? Vegas is super small. This is all Vegas is. You can go anywhere in like 30 minutes, which you don't realize how small Vegas actually is until you're out here. We're still on the hunt. We do want to see supercars besides those Lambos that we saw cruising. We haven't seen anything after that. If you have never been to Vegas, let me show you guys a little bit. So there's that Eiffel Tower. It's crazy because last time I came, we walked all this. So everything you see here, we walked everything just because we didn't want to get an Uber. <laughs> you guys are experiencing it with me right now. But like I said, we have an hour to kill. So we're maybe grab something to eat. But other than that, we're, we are on the hunt. Look at all the tourists. Vegas is always popping. That's what I've learned. I don't know how they can deal with the heat. It's super hot and they're just walking like nothing. Look at all those people walking. Look at that. Damn. I'm over here burning inside my car. That's why I haven't got off. I don't know if you've noticed, but we haven't even left the car. <laughs> Cause F that, way too hot. Let's see what else is over here. All right guys, same location. We're about four minutes away, but look at the difference. C8 behind us. I believe that's a GT3 RS right in front of my friend Gerald. Bro. That just tells me there's gonna be some crazy cars here. I cannot wait. Four minutes away, bro. I really want to see that GT3. I can't really tell if it's the new, new ones, but I mean, it looks pretty freaking new. This black C8 behind us looks sick too. We've seen a few of them since we've been here, but I mean, I don't mind that. Look at how clean it looks. So it isn't the new ones, but oh, it's a GT2 RS. That thing is crazy. That's the goal. One day, GT3 or GT2, whichever one we can afford first, that is the goal. Look at this nice little area. It's the same place, like I told you guys earlier, it's the same place we came to, but at the time, we only saw like two C8s here. Damn, they even have security and everything. Bro, look at the cars that they have already in the front. GT2 RS, a McLaren 720S. We did park kind of bad, but we just pulled up to the place. So far, we've only seen like three or four cars here, which, I think it's pretty small for a Vegas meet. I found the only parking I could with a shade. So we're gonna go pull up. Hopefully more cars show up. I think it barely started. Hopefully by the time in like 30 minutes, there's more cars here. Let's go to the top. Huh? We're gonna go to the top. All right, bet. Let's do it. 
Bro, look how high we up, and this guy wants to take a picture with his feet hanging out. <laughs> Bro, you're crazy. Hey, do it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this guy is crazy. Look how, bro, we're probably like, what, 30 feet in the air? Bro, I'm scared to draw my camera. I'm scared bro, for you to fall. You're scaring me right now, bro. It's supposed to be. But look at this shot, imagine. Nice little pick right here. That's Boom. what I'm saying, bro, my feet dangling. Do it real quick. I'll hold you back. All right, just hold my back. Yeah, just hold, here. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold I'll hold you like this. Oh my God. People are going to think you're trying to do something else. All right, hold on. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. All right, yeah, yeah, just. Bro. You got it? Can you help take my phone? Oh, Alright, hold on. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Oh. Bro, you're crazy. Here's a phone back. Let's go look at some supercars. Guys, you are not gonna believe what we just found. What in the world? Honestly, this is my first time ever seeing a Bugatti in person. I was not expecting this the moment I came to this car meet. Bro, that's easily like what? Two million dollars? Three million dollars? McLaren right in front of us. Bro, this is insane. For my first car meet in Vegas, this did not disappoint. Look at that, we're just getting started. McLaren, McLaren. These guys travel all over the world. I see that they even go as far as Monaco, which is crazy. That's another country. This is the car that we were behind, GT2 RS. Bro, look at this STO. Honestly, STO would be the dream car. It is like 500,000, so we're nowhere near that. But just look at this, holy crap. That blue on that Urus is pretty freaking sick too. All these cars, and I guess it's just getting started. So one thing I cannot believe is that there's a freaking Bugatti here. Look at that shit. It's on the, yeah, to the left, and there's signs that's been in that hallway. Insane. Another Huracan, bro, I'm gonna ask one of these guys what they do. This is a level I'm trying to be on. One of the reasons I came out here is to get some motivation, and look at this, bro. Huracan, bro that McLaren is so badass, bro what in the world, I'm still fanboying over that Bugatti, I'm sorry. <laughs> bro let me show you guys this Ferrari right here, this thing is insane, if I'm not mistaken this is the SF90 which is almost like a mill, another STO. Let me let him park over here. Let me get out of the way. Bro, this is insane. I can't believe there's an SF90. If you guys know a little bit about cars, the SF90 is close to a mil, if not a million dollars. GT2 RS. I'm not too sure what these go for. I want to say, if I had to guess, 400,000. Look at where they're parking the STO VIP as well. I think this is a Ferrari we saw cruising earlier. Another McLaren. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's a 458. And it does look like the one we saw earlier. There's no way anything can top that Bugatti and the SF90. That's honestly insane. If anything, top that. It's a Chiron. I know earlier in the video I said about 2 mil, but I think those are around 4 million. Imagine someone having 4 million just to spend on a car. That's crazy. That Ferrari is crazy. Damn, he came from Cali. I've talked to a couple of these guys and their stories are crazy. It's like stuff out of a movie. You really don't believe it until you see and hear it in person. It's crazy how all these rich people, they talk to each other like nothing. TikTok, now the sun's dipping back, so it's like... You guys want to know what's crazy? There is still more supercars coming in. Another Ferrari. If I had to guess, I want to say most of these guys honestly do real estate. There's no way that you don't get rich off real estate. And I've heard some of them talking and they own some crazy shit. Crazy that you see all this stuff online and then hearing it and seeing it in person, it sounds like a movie. Like when they talk about all this stuff that they've done. It's honestly super inspiring and motivating. There's no reason that we can't do the same. One thing that when you see all these cars to keep in mind is I know when you're young, like you want to get rich young. But I guarantee you, most of these guys didn't get rich while they were like in their 20s. The best way, honestly, to get to this level is connections. You have to be willing to meet people. There's always someone that knows a lot more than you do, which is why I kind of ended up over here trying to learn from people doing better than me, and people that can help me advance in life, as well as me help them. I do know quite a few things. Honestly, this is the most supercars I think I've ever seen in one location. But these guys are all getting ready to head out. I know that Bugatti has Montana plates, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't live out there, but it's for a tax benefit. Supercar owners like to register their cars out of state. 
But look at all these cars. This was such a good car meet. There's only like 50 cars here, but a lot of nice 50 cars. And just like that, we're getting back into our Supra with the broken lift. But the important thing is whenever you see a car that's crazy, even if it's better than yours, you can never compare yourself to someone else. What keeps me motivated for sure, all those guys were at least double my age. Which I know I got a lot of time. There's no rush to success. Everyone's gonna succeed at their own pace. Everyone's gonna succeed at their own pace. So never rush it. You just stress yourself out. We are gonna end off the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the car meet. That's just first of many. I heard they get a lot bigger than that, which is crazy. So time to head back to the house. We got like a 20 minute drive. See you guys in the next video.